Now before this video begins guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy AXWTD that you guys are seeing in this video, better known as Penny the God, we've known him since 2K18, but he's a beast, he's a demon, his Twitter is in the description below, go ahead and give my man a follow and tell him he needs to upload to YouTube because my words ain't getting through to him. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, without further ado, let's get into it. That's my fault though. Let's, let's go. Let's go. I figured I would have a lot, but I didn't think I would have six already. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna have seven because I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that BP. Right. I don't know. Should I make that BP? It'd be nice though, man. I got it. That's great. God, you boxed. No, don't let me. Fuck you, 2K. Ooh. Nope. He makes that. Literally dribbling into you. He. What, kid? Another. Yeah. Good shot. It gave me a fucking late, like. Yeah, this one's gonna be the one. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Toxic guys. So they can't shoot? No. Nah. No no 30 on their attributes. Go, go. Nope. <gasps> oh, they hold you, bro. Let's go. Lord. God damn. Oh, he's being weird. Sit in the screen just so he can be down here. Fuck. Oh my god, no. Come on now. And then when I jump, he gets the board. Yeah, it's so fucking annoying. Give me that shit, bitch. Whew. Try it one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Right. Gotcha. Shot. One more time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Green. Let's go. Let's go. God. <laughs> that was toxic, dog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little segment of me and Penny going crazy on some twos. We were up late last night just going nuts. I'll be playing twos with Penny, Rells, and I think that's really about it. I mean, I'm looking for some more twos players out there, man, that want to play. I'm looking for some more guards, but in due time, we will find some more. As always, if you guys want to play, hit me up on Xbox Live. You guys know the gamer tag. Now, getting into my build, the mid-range playmaker that I told you guys I was working on and I was destined to complete he is finally complete he has all his badges and now he's like a 96 97 overall with all of his badges and he is absolutely beautiful I, I i love the build i love what he can do and one of the many things that i got questioned about was the badge lineup and him having eight to nine defensive badges the thing is and what i've learned about the play four is that when it comes to your builds, it really has to do with strength, it really has to do with weight, it really has to do with arm length, 
you don't need all of these badges that are in the game in order to make this defensive monster in the paint now me i'm only 610 i'm not seven foot uh a lot of times i uh i do pretty good on defense in the paint for my size for me being 610 for me only being 270 pounds to 275 which is what my playmaker 4 is you don't need a, a a really huge like glass lock in the paint with like 20 defensive badges in order to stop somebody in the paint it's all about iq and it's all about placement of your character and how well you're defending and not jumping in the paint because i've learned over time that that can help uh, a lot as far as not jumping in the paint you'll yeah trust me trust me ladies and gentlemen i have been through the worst i have been through the ringer and i tell you what when i stay planted on the ground and i put my arms up most of the time i'm stopping a play now there are some cases that you will need to press that y button and yes you will need to but in most cases you don't have to stay planted Put your feet on the ground some were skeptical because i wasn't putting on the rim protector takeover like my playmaker 4 has or he doesn't have glass takeover or slasher takeover listen he does quite well going against seven foot to seven foot three um guys in the paint now there are some i'm gonna get worse of course i'm a shooter my arms are not max length you get what i'm saying but if you position yourself the right way and what his vert and agility it makes him able to grab the board over some of the biggest bigs in the paint. The reason I made him 6'10 and not 6'8 or 6'9 is because I didn't want to be undersized. I know you guys, uh, there's some people that have compared the build to Duke Dennis or said, you know, you should have did it this way or, or did it that way. This is the best speed, agility, 6'10 big that you're going to get, quite honestly. He, he is. And I don't see you making him any different. I wanted him to be 6'10". And if you guys want to know how to make him and how to uh, make somewhat of this build, because there's different versions of this build. Yes, you can make him a little bit shorter. Yes, you can have Slasher take over. You can do a lot of different things. But if you guys want to know how to build him, that video is in the description below. He goes alongside with my Play 4. And now that we have the mid-range playmaker complete, now that we have the playmaker 4 complete with now working on the post playmaker we've already started to grind career career can put you to sleep man if you're not careful i'm telling you guys career can put you to sleep the post playmaker is coming he's going to be my slasher with the slasher take oh my god penny penny is the one that helped me with this build and trust me guys you're gonna fall in love with them mid-range playmaker guys as i said is a demon look at these ankles that are falling across the court it's just absolutely disgusting he's 610 he can play your guard he can play the point god you know what i mean in the right hands he can do a lot of damage guys i'm only a snatch back god since 2k18 okay that's it that's what i do but if you guys want to see more of the mid-range playmaker go ahead and check those videos out in the description below hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video it's been your boy dpad follow me on twitter and twitch at dpad2k peace and motherfucking hair grease later guys